Hello and welcome to my presentation screencast supporting my application to become a Software Sustainability Institute Fellow in the 2022 intake. My name is James Byrne and I'm going to talk to you about how I feel this fellowship can help promote the importance of software in polar research. A bit about me first. I currently work as a research software engineer for the British Antarctic Survey based in Cambridge. Before being at RSC, I held other engineering and operational roles within BAS in both Antarctica and Cambridge. Previous to BAS, I have a 15-year history of software development and DevOps roles in industry. As at RSC, I sit within the BAS AO Lab group, who are relatively new. We are using the introduction of this group as an opportunity to foster increased collaboration between software-oriented departments and other groups, both inside and outside of BAS. I personally act as an advocate for best practice usage of open source software, development of community spirit and open access to technical advice for all. I am actively involved with our innovation team in exploring opportunities available for future projects, as well as applying for funding for such opportunities within the software domain. My current project focus is, is developing a sea ice forecasting infrastructure based on AI lab research that was recently published. This is a collaboration with the Turing Institute and is a trailblazer for both organisations as we're implementing innovative, reusable and easily adaptable infrastructures for data access and machine learning pipelines. My other focal points are in helping with the strategic design and project inceptions that underpin the development of digital twins for both Antarctica and the research vessel of Sir David Attenborough. I also spend time advising researchers and technical staff on best practices for software helping them to achieve peak effectiveness in utilising our compute resources. My aims for the Fellowship are threefold. Firstly, with the ever-increasing role, of, the ever -increasing role in, of software in polar science, it is important that our organisation have a software sustainability champion working with the wider community. This will allow us to communicate our journey towards an ever more data-centric approach to polar research. It will also allow me to publicise the challenges and solutions that this journey entails. Secondly, it is important that we publicise the work of the polar science community from a software-oriented perspective. There are countless cases where we've adopted or utilised open source projects in our research and operations. Publicising this work is especially important when seeking future innovation and collaboration opportunities in the software community. Thirdly, by having an increased connection with the Institute, I can act as a, con a conduit for adoption of best practices and tools that are vetted by the rest of the community. This in turn will promote the cyclical development of these projects as they are used by our own developers. Current examples can be seen in our use of Pangeo and our increasing collaborations with the Turing Institute. I seek to increase our adoption of the software carpentries and hopefully look at mutually beneficial funding opportunities with external groups that can leverage BAS's vast polar datasets. To achieve these aims, I'll obviously benefit from being able to communicate more easily with the community and the institute. This will, in turn, help to cement the role of form RSEs formerly within BAS. The AI lab and the role of software developers is a currently expanding practice and this fellowship will help me connect those who join our ranks with the wider community. Additionally, the ability to blog about polar research directly to the community offers far greater outreach. This is important for increasing awareness of the role of software in polar research. All of these items ultimately increase the visibility of opportunities for collaboration with BAS and other polar research organisations. We have hugely interesting use cases for software innovation and it would bring me great pleasure to help people access groups in the polar science community so that beneficial collaborations can take place. One significant use for the funding provided under the Fellowship is in my desire to hold a software-oriented conference for the software engineering community as a whole. This would be held in a hybrid fashion based physically at BAS. I seek for it to cover numerous topics and groups within the organisation so that the role of software in polar research becomes more widely apparent. The conference will have several parts. Keynotes on where BAS is going in its software journey, especially in adopting more data-centric approaches with our partners. Talks on how we are improving our research activities using software through development and sustainable adoption of tooling and automation. 
presentations from the software-oriented groups within BAS. The most obvious groups are the AI Lab, the Mapping and Geographical Information Centre, our Antarctic and Marine Engineering Departments, the Polar Data Centre and our Central IT team, and also discussions on the importance of software for polar operations and research. Software plays a pivotal role in our future when we consider the impact of polar research and the need to drive broader sustainability initiatives such as decarbonisation. I hope this has been interesting to you and please note further information can be found on my BAS profile, GitHub's personal site and Twitter. Thanks for watching.